it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Do remember if you wish to subscribe you can do so in the bottom right hand corner and if you like the video give it a thumbs up. Okay so today I am using the Gangs All Mirror again. I used it on Tuesday for my top tip Tuesday about masking. I am doing a little bit more masking today so it kind of follows on. Uh, I'm using it in a slightly more not meerkat way um, and I'm making a this is my masculine version and I'm now going to make a feminine version so let me get started I need two bits of whisper white card one is slightly smaller than the other and that's the one I need first so let's pop everything else to one side I've got the cacti cactus um, ready to go so memento ink and I'm just going to pop that down there and leave that to settle for a moment whilst I ink up again and come over this side and I want to stamp in roughly the same place uh, I might come in a little bit more but I want it at about the same height which I've pretty much got and I have fussy cut my cactus out uh, if you need to understand how to do that using a sticky note have a look at top tip Tuesday from two days ago and you'll see that and then I inked up my stamp again and I'm just going to come in slightly further up and slightly overlapping and you want this to be not too dramatic in either case and then when you remove your mask you've got two cacti next to each other if you go too up and too far that way it's going to look a bit odd I think um, but just a small difference makes a difference right I've got the little cute little meerkat that's peeking its head out and I'm going to pop that about there and again I'm trying to keep everything more or less lined up and then I've got my little gecko and again I want that to be pretty much level again and I also want to stamp this on my other piece of whisper white just down in the bottom right hand corner this is going to be the inside of my card so I want him there as well that's all I need the memento for and it's all I need those stamps for so let's get those out of the way okay um, I'm using quite a lot of blends three colors um, so not a huge number but three colors so six pens the first thing I'm going to do is come in with my um, call me clover and this is the call me clover light and I'm going to color in all of my cacti and once you've kind of done the outline you can just fill in and before I go over to the other one I'm going to take the bullet end of my call, dark call me my dark I should say call me clover and just go down the middle of each of those lines and what I want this to look like is um, as if the prickly bits are standing proud and I'm going to come in top and bottom and just give a bit of shading and then oops, let's have that coming down and there and then come back in with my light and blend that all in as I say what we're looking to do is to make these look as if they're dimensional uh, by adding some shadow which kind of works so again colour in with the light and then come in with the dark, ooh wrong end, bullet end, much easier, 
come in with the dark to add to the stripe. I'm going to do the shading at the same time. So I know this is, you know, sharing some items from the Celebration catalogue a little ahead of time, but my mailing has is about to go out, well, as I'm filming this, it's about to go out to my customers. Uh, so anyone who's ordered from me in the last year should keep an eye on their letterbox because there's fun coming. Um, Calypso Coral Light, and I'm then coming with the dark. So... Uh, yes, so your spring summer catalogue and celebration catalogues should be getting onto your doorstep any moment now. With luck, I know it's Christmas postage, so always an interesting time to post stuff out. But um, yeah, just something to read between Christmas and New Year. And then come in with the dark and just add a bit of shading. Uh, if you are, if you haven't shopped with me in the last year, but would like a copy of the catalogue and would like to shop with me in the future, then do fill in the request form on my catalogue page, which is on my website, and there's a link to that in the description bar. Um, there will also be close-up photos of these cards and all that good stuff, so you can have a look at that. OK, I've just remembered I need to come in and do my little gecko. And he's also going to be in light Call Me Clover. I'm not going to bother adding shading to him because he's so small that um, any shading would kind of dominate. And then also on the inside of the card. I love doing blend work. It's just so relaxing. And I cannot tell you how excited I am about my about the um, forthcoming mini album and celebration. They are gorgeous. Unfortunately, I can't share them the insides with you until the um, 3rd of January, so uh, I can send you copies, so this is Crumb Cake Light, so I can send you copies, I just can't um, show you the inside of the catalogue until after the 3rd of January, or to, well, until the 3rd of January. So, yeah. Now, you can still order from the Autumn Winter catalogue. Um, all I would say is that it's unlikely to arrive before Christmas now. Uh, I did let you know when um, when the last posting day was, which was Sunday the 15th, or last ordering day, and that's so that the orders can be dispatched early part of this week. So I've just added a little bit of shading to our meerkat. And there we go. Right, okay, I'm now going to take the brush end and just come in and add a kind of scribble of, I'm thinking this is sand, because we're looking at cacti and those sorts of things. So in my head, this is sand. Not worrying too much about it. And then the finishing touch. This is the single basic black marker. Um, and I'm just going to come in and join up the the ground just with a sort of scribble. Coming in afterwards means that you're not going to disturb the alcohol markers and it just means that everything else is kind of okay. Actually, do you know what? I didn't add shading before, but I want to just add a bit of shading underneath these things just to see if it makes a bit of difference. So that's going to have a long shadow. Actually, they're going to have quite long shadows, aren't they? If the sun is from behind, which I'm sort of thinking of it, 
is coming from behind. So let's come in with our light blend again and just blend that out a bit. And then we can have a look and see which we prefer, the one with the shading or the one without the shading. Right, okay, so uh, I need a scrap of basic black, which I have here. And I've got the We're Here For You stamp. Uh, I'm just going to pop a bit of embossing buddy on there. And then I'm taking a post-it note and just attaching that to cover up the We Are All bit of the stamp. And then Versamark ink onto the stamp. Remove the post-it note and pop that there. Bring in my white embossing powder. And this is the um, original white, it's not the shimmer white. Um, it's just the ordinary white. Pop that to one side. And then, oh, doesn't want to close for some reason. Right, okay, trusty cheese board time. Pop that on. There's some little specks that I don't want. This is just a dry paintbrush. Okay, heat up my heat tool. Where are we time wise? 11 minutes for crying out loud. Okay. off. Cheese board away. Okay, let's start putting this together. So I have a Calypso Coral card base uh, and this is just a half sheet that's folded in the middle and a piece of basic black measurements will be on my um, website which is linked below and I'll also have all the items that I've used both below and on my website. And there's a link to my store. Right, so that's that. And pop this on. You really don't need a huge amount of glue. Uh, Multi-purpose liquid adhesive is available in Europe now. Hurrah, hurrah. Um, at the moment, it's a limit of three pots per order. Uh, just while we um, get over the hiccup of not having had it available for months. Uh, we've got two years of stock coming in in the next six months so it should all last reasonably well if we are all sensible about it and don't decide that we're going to put in ten orders with three pots of glue in each one. Okay that's that. just want to trim this down. I'm going to use the mini trimmer that's part of the joining offer. Um, so if you were looking to join my Stamping Up team, you can do that in on the 3rd of January and you get this, a sample pack of designer series paper, uh, any stamp set of your choice that isn't a host or celebration stamp set and the £130 of products that you would normally expect to get. So great great offer now is a perfect time to be looking to join my stamping up team just get that out don't really like going in underneath with my fingers okay don't need those bits just need a couple of the mini basic black or mini they're just black aren't they dimensionals on the back and take the backings off and pop, let's bring in the other one as well, just pop this just there and there are our two cards. Now which do you prefer? Do 
you like the one with the shading or the one without? Um, do you like the Call Me Clover or the Calypso Coral? I would love to hear from you. Do leave a comment below and uh, we'll see which one is the favourite. Do remember, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't already subscribe, you can do so in the bottom right hand corner. And as I say, questions, comments, leave those below. As close ups and all that good stuff is over on my website and that is linked below as well. Thank you very much indeed for watching and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.